please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance so firstly let me just uh, remind you that please start following me on instagram because uh, i have also started to do small snippets small stories small reels on instagram every now and then and some of my videos which i put on youtube will also be there on instagram so if you are somebody who follows instagram or is um, more frequent on instagram then you may also access uh, similar information there and maybe some related information also in terms of short reels and story and stories which i may not be able to put very very small snippets on youtube so please do follow me it's the same account astro assurance so go and search for astro assurance a s t r o a w s u r a n c e astro assurance and then um, please follow me there for related information now uh, about th this particular series which i have talked about um, that i will be doing planets in conjunction with each other uh, first and then with different eight other planets with each other and then i will also be doing that particular conjunction in more detail and in different houses so firstly let me tell you that i posted a video yesterday which is about how to see conjunctions so if you are not seeing that video and if you are straight away jumping to this video then it will bring only some sense to you not a complete sense because there is a certain approach how you see conjunctions so if you don't know the basic rule how to see conjunctions then you will not be able to understand the series better so please see my video which i posted yesterday about how to correctly see conjunctions in astrology and there are many other related videos which i have already posted and this i am telling you now after having posted more than 500 videos on youtube over the last two and a half years now i am reminding you more often that please go and see related videos for example i have done the entire series of uh, lords of first house in different houses lord of second house in different houses and so on and i have also done planets placed in different signs you need to see them in connection with each other say for example if i am saying fifth lord in the ninth house and if you are an aries ascendant person the fifth lord for you is sun and placed in the ninth house means sun is in sagittarius sign so do go and see sun in different signs and have made time stamps so go and see specific time stamp where you are seeing sun in sagittarius so that will give you more meaning once you see the first lord in different houses video then you sun you see that particular lord here i'm giving the example of aries ascendant natal sun in sagittarius then it will give you more in depth information unless you see related information you are able to put together you won't be able to make more headway into the science of astrology and understand your own horoscope better secondly i have made different playlists there are almost 20 different playlists to which i have added different videos some of the videos may overlap and may be also be in different playlists but that is also so that you understand a certain topic much much better for example when you look at conjunctions i have made a new playlist where i am going to put all my conjunction videos but what are yogas and doshas yogas and doshas are also to a large extent conjunctions between planets so if you see that particular playlist yogas and doshas where i have put in the lot of yogas lot of doshas then you will also be able to understand the conjunctions better where you know when i'm talking about planetary energy coming together either in a positive or a negative manner this series that i'm making will be giving an overall basis but i will not specifically get into yogas and doshas so much so to be able to understand conjunctions much better please also follow that particular playlist yogas and doshas and in general whenever you see any video of mine please understand there may be related videos so my suggestion is go into my playlist see what all topics i have and then according to the particular topic also just go through just browse through my different playlist so that you understand where you can see where you can find relevant or related information more than 500 videos have posted lot of content is already there for your benefit please use it judiciously secondly as i go more and more deeper and deeper 
into my videos going forward i started off at a very very basic level but as time passed i gave i've given you more and more and richer and richer information in a very phase manner in a very scientific manner i've tried to approach my videos in a very scientific in a very disciplined manner in a very gradual manner making the series of videos making playlists and so forth and so forth so please make generous use of it make judicious use of it please make disciplined use of it and go to different videos and just see there are many many research oriented videos which are made path breaking videos which are made you, which if you are able to see that then you will be able to understand it in different contexts i have made many many videos on mokshas on nakshatras and related to planetary placements so please go this all this information is for you if you are if, many times you ask me questions why didn't you do particular uh, you know a particular video or a particular topic then i realize that you have not gone through my channel you have not gone through a browse through my content uh, you know in in a in a, in a, in a more planned manner you have you just waiting for a video to come without going through my channel so please i invite you please go and visit my channel look into the different videos go in through the playlists i am still you know trying to sort out the playlists better many videos have not align them to playlists uh, you know so far but i am going to do that so in the next over the next 10 to 15 days some more clean up is going to also happen but uh, to large extent the playlists are more or less ready so please go uh, and uh, watch those videos so that you are able to understand from my learning or my approach to astrology much better which has all come to me through gurus and by the uh, blessings of the zodiac by the blessing of the shrishti itself having said that let's jump into today's topic which is about sun's conjunction with different planetary entities and because there are nine planetary entities in all so sun's conjunction will be with the eight other planetary entities in the zodiac now firstly i am starting with the sun because sun is also the innermost planet of the zodiac and the energy giver it is also the soul so a uh, conjunction of the sun with any planetary entity is very very important it directly attacks or attaches itself to the karma to the soul itself and so it's very very important and hence when you look, when i when you're starting off with the soul itself and you understand sun's conjunction very very well it will be easier also to follow the other series in line with what sun's conjunction means the soul's conjunction means because the sun is not only the soul sun is also the king and because sun rules the fifth house the house of sanchita karma a lot of sanchita karma is also attached to the conjunctions of the soul so it's very very important that you understand different conjunctions very very well but definitely sun's conjunction very very well so firstly how does the sun behave with different planets i have already established yesterday in a detailed fashion where combusted planets when they are too close to the sun may not be able to really showcase their energy so very well and so you can't read that as a conjunction so where you read a conjunction where you don't please see my yesterday's video so that you understand what to see a conjunction where to see a conjunction the degrees are very very important within how much degree you read a conjunction where you don't read a conjunction is also important so if you see that video then this video this particular video today's video will be more clear to you so please go and watch that so firstly let's start with the first planet which can be in conjunction with the sun and which is the most common conjunction among all the conjunctions this conjunction is the conjunction of sun with mercury so firstly why is sun and mercury so close together and why what is the importance of this at a karmic level if you see sun is nothing but the soul the soul is what carries the karma and wants to carry the karma forward the sun's journey is different from the material journey that we do and hence the sun also represents leadership represents accountability because we are accountable for our actions in this life even while we may be carrying the karma forward so we are accountable for our earlier karma also and hence sun represents leadership and accountability because you need to take responsibility for your actions in whichever life and that's why sun is represented by the soul or the sun represents the soul and sun represents accountability and leadership so you can't run away from accountability 
but what is the use of leadership and accountability if you don't have a thinking mind a logical mind a practical mind and analytical mind so it's very very important that leadership comes with accountability and with that accountability comes with a logical practical approach a data oriented approach a thinking approach an intellectual approach and what is intellect intellect is nothing but your buddhi or the buddh planet of mercury and hence sun is in close conjunction with mercury in the zodiac and mercury is also the innermost planet and hence in most of the horoscopes you will find sun and mercury either in conjunction close conjunction or very very close to a conjunction so please in, um, please understand that sun and mercury's conjunction is the zodiac given conjunction to most of us which means the accountability has to be done with logical and reasoning now that is the potential given to us that you will need to showcase your accountability and your responsibility and your leadership through a thinking mind through a practical mind through a data oriented mind which means your decisions in life your leadership or your responsibility should be based on information valuable information logical information without using your logic you can't be a leader you can't be somebody who can take responsibility and this is very important please understand that the sun and moon have not been in close quarters yet sun and mercury why because moon is your emotions so here emotions can't overshadow leadership responsibility your responsibility has to be done through logic to practicality and hence sun and mercury's conjunction is one of the most common ones in the zodiac and in almost every horoscope so you need to understand sun and mercury's conjunction better so here it is the leadership given with accountability and with responsibility compared with or aligned with logic and with data and hence it means that wherever it is the potential is given to you that you take logical decisions never rush into decisions without using data without using the power of analysis without thinking through it without you know seeing the pros and cons on both the sides and only an educated result oriented approach which is based on logic which is based on facts rather than emotions is what the sun's and mercury's conjunction is all about but this is not an easy conjunction it is a tough conjunction to deal with because you know machinery is is involved here wisdom comes later first comes justice and justice based on the data based on facts based on logic and so the sun's and mercury's conjunction wherever it is 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 for you to take accountability and responsibility for that particular house where the conjunction is i am of course going to do a series of sun and mercury conjunction in different houses and other conjunctions also in different houses more detailed ones will come later but right now just to understand at a 70000 feet uh, feet uh, you know perspective wherever your sun and mercury are in that particular area of that house you will have to use logic intellect and data and power of analysis to be taking decisions to take leadership so whichever area it is it is about you taking the leadership responsibility for those areas if in sun and mercury is in the fourth house then leadership is about family where you take the leadership but, but you also take a responsibility now sun and mercury conjunction is easier in the trine houses even in in the upacha houses but it may not be so good in the kendra houses more detail later but just to because we are on the topic sun and mercury is our leadership and without emotions but at home in a domestic life emotions are important you cannot overrule them completely in fact many times you need to take more emotional decisions rather than very logical practical data oriented decisions sometimes if your spouse is down and out and emotional you can't think too much about logic and practicality here you need to be a little mushy you need to be showing care you need to be able to give a shoulder um, to the spouse man and woman whoever whoever it is it can anybody can have a bad day can feel emotional about it even sometimes they may be wrong and yet they are emotional so you need to take more emotional uh, approach to certain relations so hence sometimes this uh, this conjunction can be a tough one not an easy one to deal with because it is more about showing leadership showing the authority and with logic rather than with emotion so this is a tricky one definitely but this is given by the zodiac because the zodiac assumes us expects us that the soul has to 
not work so much with emotion the soul has to be lo looking at data and soul has to take accountability for our action so a very very karmic conjunction wherever it is please use your leadership and authority and accountability well use data use power of analysis very very well and especially when it is a proper conjunction rather where not mercury is co combusted or when the degree difference is more than 10 degrees for example let's move to the second conjunction which is sun with venus so if you have to summarize the conjunction with of sun and venus here what is venus venus is about quality of life the richness of life the good life and also it is about the artistic life and hence many times sun and venus conjunction is a very very good conjunction for all those people who want to bring in a certain leadership to quality to richness to arts to performances so anywhere where quality is required quality in life quality in approach quality in food quality in clothes anything where quality is connected sun and venus conjunction really really helps you so here yeah, you are given the authority and the accountability also to take the lead in bringing bringing the best work to the fore bringing quality to the fore bringing richness to the fore bringing the best luxury to the fore so it is a conjunction given to us to do the best work to approach that particular area where sun and venus is conjuncted conjuncted using your that power using that conjunction using that energy using that strength to be able to do some path breaking work where quality is concerned richness is concerned out of the box thinking connected to a better quality of life concerned so wherever the artistic is concerned wherever performances is are, are concerned wherever luxuries are concerned this is an area given to you to bring in some some different perspective to do some path breaking work and to achieve in that area so if sun and venus are together you can do very very well in the field of arts you can do very very well in the field of all those connected to better quality of life so if you are running a restaurant you can do very very well you can be a leader if you are running a clothes business and you are doing the finer apparels labels you can do very very well if you are into furniture or doing anything related to doing up the house very very well then to if you are into something which is better quality and you have a better sense you have a good eye then you can do very very well this is not somebody this is not a combination of uh, working for a manufacturing company where you are making cycles or tires that will be more related to say saturn or even mars this is about where you are it connected to industries which improve the quality of life more luxurious oriented oriented approach or this is a leader of quality the quality leader in or the head of the department of quality in any industry it can be but you need to be a quality inspector a quality leader who's taking responsibility for quality so in that role you can do very very well so a very artistic approach a very luxurious approach a fitness or richness oriented approach to life and to the area of life that you are in brings brings this energy to the fore the other is sometimes this can also be a trouble maker in relations what is venus venus is your intimacy venus is also the opposite gender the venus is also your better half so many times because of personality issues because of high ego which sun brings in the relationships could also be could, could also be spoiled and many times this is a tough conjunction where connect, where it is connected to relationships because venus also rules the 7th house the sign of libra libra sign is the weighing scale which is about balance sun sometimes tilts the balance to one side where you are trying to become a leader you are forcing people to do things based on what you think should be done so one has to be careful with this a lot of energy is given to you to be able to bring that kind of leadership to better quality of life richness however there is also a challenge for you the challenge for you is to temper or curb the energy where emotions are concerned especially connected to the love and intimacy and romance in love and romance you cannot show authority and leadership there you need to be able to show more humility and be more humble be more approachable and play have give a level field level playing field so if you have sun and venus certainly certain challenges can be in your relationship can be in your love life can be a romance a romance life also they can also be some initial issues also so as long as you are able to curb that authority making my way or the highway 
and you are more humble and you are taking responsibility for the relationship to be able to stable and to survive and to sustain this can be a good this can be a good conjunction for a good stable romantic life now the sun and moon conjunction is a very special one this is a special one because these both of them are luminaries and normally in astrology and most of the astrological books it is said that when the, these two luminaries come together and if just these two are very very strong in very very good dignity they can overpower all other bad doshas bad conjunctions bad energies because the sun and moon are so very very powerful sun is the largest planetary entity in the zodiac gives energy to all of us moon is the closest to the earth and sun is the father moon is the mother and we are a product of our father and a mother and hence these two luminaries become very very important so when sun and moon come together in conjunction in a certain horoscope it's a very very karmic placement it's a very special placement this can be the placement of a very empathetic father a lovely very very loving father a very very caring supportive father a father who is not very authoritative but who is very very loving and even if he shows authoritative he shows authority because he cares and he loves a lot and he is very emotional about it the problem with this is sometimes you can become too emotional in showing your authority you may lose your cool you may become angry you may become upset and so it is a very emotion oriented leader very emotion oriented authority and hence it can be misused this is good to be in a very mushy role also where you are also very empathetic leader a caring leader or supportive leader but the problem with this particular conjunction especially in a career in a corporate role is that sometimes you become too caring you become too emotional so sometimes you become this very very cold leader where you are running roughshod over everybody because you are too angry or sometimes you are too mushy you are too caring you are too sup supportive so you become somebody who is very very lenient so sometimes people may not understand you very well sometimes you come across a very very lenient leader lenient person sometimes you come as too authoritative very very angry because this is a very very temperamental position also however this placement can also bring a, bring a lot of innovation a lot of creativity to your life because moon is about creativity and sun is about leadership so you take the leadership in creativity you take the leadership in innovation also and hence a lot of good things creative things artistic things beautiful things also come out of this conjunction a lot of people who do very very beautiful work very creative work whether it is in clothes whether it is with food whether it is with your work whether with your presentation that you do anywhere and everywhere where you will be very very creative you will be very very innovative as a leader in your work also your work may not be path breaking which sun and rahu can bring to you this will definitely this will still be very creative in your area so without being path breaking as a change big change in the industry itself you will bring in small innovations which which will definitely improve the work and you will do it with empathy which means because you are a caring leader because you are a supportive leader or even if you are not a leader don't mis misunderstand or misinterpret the term leader leader doesn't mean a role a designation given to you leader means somebody who is ready to take responsibility who volunteers and takes the responsibility that i am responsible for these results is a leader so for example the a couple at home who have children both of them are leaders in their sense but they are not given a designation but they are leaders because they are responsible for the home they may divide the leadership roles among themselves but yet they are leaders so similar leadership role is given to people with sun and moon where you need to take leadership you need to take accountability but here your job is to bring in a caring perspective an empathetic perspective an understanding perspective because the soul is riding is carrying karma with it and moon is also the mother so here the soul also has is carrying the empathy the understanding and hence this is also a soul which can also rise much much faster higher in the spiritual real if it plays true to the energy that is given a very very soft mushy uh, mushy uh, energy surely but this is a challenging energy also especially where hard tasks are, have to be taken tough decisions are to be taken where emotions don't play the role where data plays the role or where wise decision has to be taken so many times sun and moon combinations can also be people who are who, who, who take it very tough on the emotions it's not easy for them to take failures also it's not easy for them also to 
uh, you know take tough decision against people because of the caring attitude which is involved and so very very tough decision maker role can be a tough placement for sun and moon uh, conjunction so if you have this conjunction in your horoscope the role is more or less cut out for you you are not cut out for very very tough decision you are cut out for more empathy oriented sympathetic oriented understanding oriented um, decisions which which look at different contours which look at different areas which look at different perspectives yet are empathetic and supportive and through that you showcase your leadership through that you show your accountability sun and mars conjunction is also very very karmic a very very special conjunction the reason being is what are sun and mars mars rules the lagna itself in the kal purush kundli and sun gets exalted in the sign of aries which means sun gets exalted in the mool trikona sign of mars and so these these two have a special connection also they rule the first house and the fifth house both of these are dharma bhavas thirdly aries the mool trikona sign of mars and leo the mool trikona sign of sun are both fire signs and so they also have this very very dharma oriented strong fire sign oriented result oriented approach and what is mars mars is the general and what is sun sun is the king here this is a king who is also a general normally sun or the king gives power to the general to do his task to do his goal to do his bidding however a lot of power is given to the general to take decisions and many a times the general end up ends up becoming the king how do people become a king so a uh, somebody who feels for his tribe feels for his community stands up takes a stance is ready to fight for something that he believes in and then fights people fights oppressors fights fights against others even without caring for himself takes the group along and then attracts everybody else's confidence in him loyalty in him and eventually is taken or accepted as the leader also as the king also and then under the person's leadership the kingdom also expands so generally in generally if you look at mythology even at look at history it is the generals which have ended up becoming kings or leaders who were ready to stand up for and fight for what they believed in who ended up becoming political leaders or kings so yes sun and mars combination is a very very potent combination yeah leadership and authority is given to you with a lot of power however this power can be misused this can this is a very ruthless aggressive result oriented power so such people can be very very ruthless when they want to get their results these people will be will not hesitate to run uh, you know amok over anything and everyone to get what they want what their goals are a very very result oriented approach very karmic approach why sun is the soul and mars is the general so mars is the general to do the soul's work and hence a lot of people forget that when sun and mars are coming together it is the soul's work you need to do more rather than the earthly or the worldly work and when you when you divert your energies or, or when you dilute your energies at a karmic level to do more of worldly work then you miss out the soul's work so when sun and mars come together the leadership and authority are gives given to you for a certain goal in life so it's very very important to understand what is the purpose of your life and then use all that energy given to you to move towards that but what do people do with sun and mars energy they become ruthless leaders to serve themselves to reserve what their task in life is at a material level and hence this is also very very destructive combination also this also brings down the downfall of many a leader if they push too hard and hence Sir, certain leaders like the stalins of the world the hitlers of the world rose very very quickly becoming ruthless authoritative dictators however their downfall was also that strong or that or that disastrous so if you have sun and mars energy in your horoscope become somebody who can really achieve goals high will power is given to you high energy is given to you don't forget what your karmic goals are yeah you need to be able to understand clearly what your life's goals are and use that energy towards that end this can be a leader who is very very good in the manufacturing industry this can be a leader very very good general in the armed forces this can be somebody who is very good healer this can also be somebody who is a good project director where time is of the essence and you are you can't waste time you need to crack the whip and get work done this can also be 
very good gen this can also be a very very high ranking official in a very very risk oriented industry whether in the ambulance services or with the fire brigade or the armed forces uh, forces or the constabulary or the police wherever there is high risk but high goal oriented time is of the essence kind of roles sun and mars can be excellent leaders so if you have sun and mars combination conjunction in your horoscope the world is cut out for you the work is cut out for you but don't forget your karmic goals because that is the first thing that you that you are given for the energy and sun and mars coming together because here the dharma is coming together the karma is coming together because of the sun being involved so please keep keep a control over your temper please keep a control over your ruthless energy please keep a leash on where you may explode because that can be very very destructive many times people get into even aggression or violence also with sun and mars so if you keep your temper under check then the violence can also be kept under check if you don't have an outlet if you don't curb it sometimes this can also lead to very high blood pressures even brain tumors or diseases of the blood also if any other malefics are involved so if your mars sun and mars conjunction together be little careful take care of your health take care of your emotions take care of your blood pressure take care of your temperament take more more leadership take more accountability take more leadership but definitely curb the temper curb the fire with these two represent what is the sun and jupiter combination it is a combination of a wise leader it is the combination of a large hearted leader it is the combination of a thinking leader however sometimes the thinking is too much and the action is less so a wise leader does not want to jump into action and so takes his time to understand the situation time to understand the the people time to understand the conditions the environment and then takes the action and so this is a good conjunction where time is not so very very important but quality of work is very very important educated leadership experience leadership is more important and so sun and jupiter many times can also be a expert in your field and because you are an expert or you are the best in terms of knowledge or expertise or a guru in your field then the role has come to you so sun and jupiter is somebody who rises through the ranks because of his expertise because of his knowledge because of what he brings to the table and then the role is given to you if you have sun and jupiter many times i have also seen people they sometimes want the leadership first to then show the expertise so they say i know a lot i am I'm an expert in my field but if the role is not given to me i will not show my expertise i will not share my expertise but it is the other way around here you expected that you share your learning you learn more and you grow more if you learn more and you contribute more you will automatically grow more if you are learning you are becoming an expert but you are not contributing you are not doing you are not giving then it becomes difficult so sun and jupiter is a tough combination if you are not ready to take accountability and responsibility and the leadership in grooming others in sharing your information others with others and showing your expertise without waiting for the designation coming to you so if you are an expert or if you have expertise in your field if you are very good you are very very knowledgeable share it judiciously use that bring it to the table to be able to contribute and then nobody will be able to keep you down because you are showcasing your jupiter your sun will will also be shining why what is the mool trikona sign of jupiter it is sagittarius sagittarius represents the ninth house the ninth house is also the house of the father but who is the father sun is the father and hence the sun and sagittarius energy so the sun and jupiter energies are very very strong sun becomes very very powerful in the sign of sagittarius which is the ninth house which is ruled by jupiter because it is also a fiery sign and so after the sun and mars coming together very very powerful result oriented leadership the sun and jupiter is equally powerful because of the fire signs coming together the dharma signs coming together however yet it is not ruthless leadership it is wise leadership it is thinking leadership it is like a guru who is also a leader it is like a wise king wise manager wise supervisor wise ceo who after looking at pros and cons after looking at various you know perspectives then takes a decision sometimes it is slow but definitely it is more far fetched and this helps the team it helps the department it helps the company also do very well in your personal life sun and jupiter is a very very good combination where you allow your wisdom 
rather than your temperament so if sun and jupiter are together in your horoscope is a good conjunction so in your house in your domestic life allow the wisdom to overpower the aggression the leadership rather than being a leader who wants to show his authority become a leader who will share judiciously his wisdom but without forcing others to do their bidding so sometimes when we think we are too learned we also develop this overbearing uh, you know authority saying that i know so much i am an expert you better listen to me because i am the expert so don't take that approach take a more humble approach and share it judiciously but don't force people to do their bidding you will find that over a period of time especially in softer areas like in the domestic life in your love life with the children with your friends people will slowly acknowledge your authority and allow you and even put you on a pedestal over a period of time so this is the placement of growing slowly into a leadership role where the designation comes much much later the role comes to you in terms of how people look up to you approach you for advice depend on your wise counsel and then one fine day may take your authority and may also be ready to work under you these people can also be very good rule makers because sun and jupiter are coming together jupiter is the learned guru who will also suggest rules procedures so that this helps others this which which in the long run will help others and because the authority is also there such rules will also be accepted so a thinking leader a wise leader who also brings in new rules regulations procedures is this is this placement and hence these people can also be judges when a judgment is given then the judgment is also also stands and other courts will also refer to that judgment and as the new rule book so this is the placement of making rules this is the placement of making long term rules or rules which serve the society this is the spiritual guru who is also a religious guru by pure knowledge by pure expertise and is able to showcase his expertise his learning and hence is taken as a leader these can also be head of institutions educational institutions and not just religious institutions these are gurus who then end up becoming the heads of their departments head of the faculties because of the expertise because of being the gurus because of being the masters of their trade and so many people who had religious institutions or other institutions can also be seen with sun and jupiter combinations people who had hr departments or humanities or even um, you know biological departments or biology or companies which are into uh, biotechnology can also be sun and jupiter combination and these people are also one who can be very very learned who have done their phd's and they are also philosophers and they are also you know path breaking in terms of philosophy because of the sun and jupiter coming together so very very learned philosophers very very acknowledged philosophers spiritual leaders can be seen with sun and jupiter combination sun and saturn combination is a very unique one firstly the if you know mythology if you understand their relationship you will also understand the challenges in the leadership firstly sun and saturn very very different saturn is darkness where sun is the light and hence when they come together this is also some sort of a oxymoron of sorts or this is of coming together of contrary or you know opposing forces also coming together sun is speed sun completes you know his um, his journey across the across the sky uh, within 24 hours and then rises at the same place the next day saturn is a very very slow moving energy so saturn tries to slow down the sun sun doesn't like that saturn tries to bring darkness sun likes light and so this is an opposing energy also however this is also a leader who has an eye right down at the base who will not look only at the top or will only cater to the leadership or the managerial level one or two levels below him he will look at the, the at, at the first rung of people who are the actual workers and so he has an eye towards them he has an empathy towards them and he feels he has he has a, he has a responsibility towards them so whenever this leader will take any decision he will also look at decisions which affect the people right at the down in fact leaders who are working for those kind of organizations which are concerned with serving others and hence this is a service servant leader where the person believes in serving others and because of that he thinks his authority or his responsibility comes about to serve others to do things for others and hence many people who are in administrative services or even banking or any role which is connected to the government where you are bringing a certain structure authority discipline is this role 
a person who will follow leaders his leaders a leader who will follow his leaders which means he will not go against the rules so a bank manager who will depend on the bank's head office to tell him how to do things who will never misuse rules who will cater to the rules even when a leniency is given to him flexibility is given to him within the flexibility also he will never misuse the rules he will not push the rules and he will be somebody who will follow the rule book a very very disciplined leader a very very structured leader rises very slow through the ranks but truly looks after people who are right below uh, working for him will be connected to all the services which is service oriented and hence the government comes into the picture public departments come into the picture companies which cater to which cater to the masses and through service oriented approach uh, is this position or is this placement this conjunction doesn't bring in too much dynamism because of saturn being involved here however this is a very very karmic placement because sun is the soul saturn is the karmic equalizer so the soul with the karmic equalizer which means here you are trying to shed the karmic debt and hence you are serving others the soul wants to serve others because the soul wants to shed the karmic debt if you don't understand that and if you going against the grain you're trying to become very materialistic then then saturn puts a roadblock to what you want saturn will not allow you to go that path and hence you may not be able to get too much worldly success with the sun and saturn conjunction if you are not looking at the karmic debt which means that you need to be somebody who is always ethical who is very moral who is always trying to serve others who is always trying to better the lives of others and you better the lives of the people who are right down at the rung of lowest rung of society lowest rung of humanities then you will find that sun and saturn both work in tandem the soul is working with the karmic equalizer if you have a structured disciplined approach to life this can be a person who grows very slowly through the ranks and ends up becoming the head of institutions government departments administrative services and those managers and those supervisors who are responsible to keep discipline who are responsible to keep structure who are responsible to keep order sometimes this combination if not understood very well then a person can be very very confused may try to do one thing may end up doing something else because is not able to balance the sun and saturn energies well so if you have this conjunction in your horoscope keep in mind that this is a karmic placement without looking and taking care of the lowest of the low rung without leading a disciplined life without leading a structured life without following the rules to the t not going against the grain you will not be able to do much out of this conjunction the sun and rahu conjunction is a very interesting conjunction firstly rahu eclipses the sun so unless the conjunction is where the degree difference is at least more than 5 or 6 degrees between rahu and sun sun is completely eclipsed then you can't see it as a conjunction then rahu will take over the sun and rahu conjunction can be seen only when the degree difference between the sun and rahu is at least 5 to 6 degree difference and till 11 to 12 degrees beyond that if the degree difference is less than say 6 degrees and more than 12 or 13 degrees then you cannot see this as a conjunction if the degree difference between sun and rahu is between 6 degrees to say 13 degrees then you can take it as a conjunction and this becomes a interesting conjunction because rahu is an explosive nuclear energy sun is also heat energy a fire energy fire and explosive energy coming together is a deadly combination but this is what this is also a very misleading energy rahu is a manipulator rahu is a very tactful planet a planetary entity rahu wants to achieve even at the cost of others and sun is the leader so a leader who is very manipulative or tactful or uses even any means it is like everything is fair in love and war that kind of an approach sometimes sun and rahu combination can take and and hence if it serves you if you feel that this is how it works and uh, this is an intelligent way to work you have to you know learn the the ways and means of the world only then you can do well so if you have to sometimes bend the rules a little bit if, if you have to bend the finger a little bit to be able to extract what you want out of work what you want out of life what you want to get out of the jar of life this person will be will not hesitate to bend the finger will not be will not hesitate to bend the rules will not he- hesitate to bend ethics and morals also so this is a very opportunistic leader a leader which is always looking at some opportunity 
this may not always be for himself but this could also be because the person believes in certain things a leader who believes that you know certain things are important for his community for his organization and then is ready to use any means if that means that i have to bribe an official so that i can, and can get a um, pass an order from an organization so be it or if i have to suck up to my boss to be able to then get their authority because i want a certain task to be done so be it so this person is a leader but also wants to some extent his own bidding to be done his own selfish motives also be to be done or selfish motives even for something he or she believes in so a person who believes in a certain area believes in a certain ideology then to be to be able to cater to the ideology he will use any means ulterior means manipulative means also tactful means also and will also sometimes will not hesitate to twist arms or arm twisting methods to get work done sometimes these people may also be surrounded by a coterie which serves them so may also take in or may have a group or may also have those friendships which serve him and will help use that group energy to to push his own agenda but this is not the leader who trusts easily a leader who may bring in or attract loyalty or may demand loyalty even may use manipulative means to get loyalty of people but will not will always keep an eye out to not to be backstab this person himself will not hesitate if need be to go against the grain go against the other leaders also but will not trust others and will not give off or delegate authority easily to others will always keep an eye on what's happening around us however sometimes rahu can mislead you trust the wrong people also even if you're less trusting but the one or two people that you may trust may not be the people who are actually the people who are the best for you because you don't see them as serving you well and sometimes you may be misled and those very people may cause your downfall because sun and rahu together is also a downfall bringing position for you if you misuse your authority if you push the agenda of being manipulative or arm twisting or breaking the rules often then it can also cause your downfall a lot of people who rose very very high in political realms as leaders as mass leaders but who were brought down by one action one statement or being backstabbed by others or the downfall is caused by caused by the people who they trusted is displacement if you as well this can be extremely path breaking energy a path breaking energy which can change the world can be this energy people who do research who deep down look into and take the leadership to be able to bring out information and to bring out path breaking ideas innovative ideas which can change the industry which can bring in a tough completed different perspective which are breakthrough ideas is this is this um, is this energy and if used well this can bring a very very this can bring a high acclaim this can bring a racks to riches stories this can make you a huge success overnight success whether in the field of acting in arts in industry in manufacturing you name it this can take you and it can take you to the highest levels of leadership people who are, um, enjoy strong power very high power unrestricted power can this can be this placement however this energy can also bring you down or cause you down root ruthlessly and in fact you can be at the receiving end many dictators many uh, generals who ended up losing their lives on the battlefield or who were pulled down from their leadership post to be put in jails or executed or hanged also is the sun and rahu combination so if you have this combination huge energy is given to you explosive energy is given to you breakthrough energy is given to you use this judiciously and ensure that you don't manipulate too much break the rules too much and become too selfish or too self oriented think more for the general society then you will find that this can take you to places but be careful not to get into acts not to do things which will bring you down for sun and ketu is also an eclipse oriented placement unless uh, the degree difference between sun and ketu is between 6 and 13 degrees here ketu can completely absorb all the energies of the sun what is ketu ketu is a planet of negation ketu absorb absorbs all the energy of the planet or the sign of the house that it is placed with or placed in and hence this is a slightly tricky placement but this is also very karmic place in the sense that sun is the soul what is ketu ketu is that you have already done that and achieved that in the previous life so here the soul is not catering to something that you need to do of this world the soul is more concerned about moving on 
so soul wants to just leave this world and then moves into the into the neither world or the next world and to move up in the spiritual elevation and hence many time such a person may not be hankering after power or authority or chasing after that or if the person even if he or she hankers after chases authority he or she doesn't get it or gets very little of it or gets too little too late in life to do anything worthwhile with it such people because they don't hanker after authority much they don't want to take responsibility also and sometimes even when the role is given to them they are not able to exert themselves as strongly as a sun and mars person may be able to do or a sun and rahu person may be able to do many a time they keep away from the power equation keep away from the political battles keep away from the grip point keep away from all the uh, gossip which is happening and want to be in their own and to be in their own world own unrestricted world these people are thinkers philosophers of the highest real think at a spiritual real think at a soul level and maybe thinking of many other things besides the materialistic world people who want to do many things for others rather than for themselves a leader who wants to do things for others who wants to dedicate his life for others maybe able want to dedicate his life for a spiritual cause for a worldly cause maybe such person so such a piece such people may also be great philanthropists may be doing a lot of charity work may also be doing a lot of work for ngos or some or the other way their life is connected to doing do well for others or serving others and this service is not the saturn kind of service where you're looking at discipline you're looking at order and structure and getting very high roles in administrative roles or the government roles this may be a government servant who works quietly may not ri- rise to the ranks and may not exert his authority even when sometimes the role demands very quiet leader very efficient leader who, do, who does for others doesn't demand too much for himself is looking at the spiritual realm gets very less done materialistically but gets a lot of done at a spiritual level at a soul level is this energy if you have sun and ketu combination between 7 to say 13 14 degrees use it judiciously this is a good karmic placement for you so that the soul elevates to the next world so be very kind hearted to others try and help others become more authority oriented more responsibility oriented for others take up the causes of others fight for others take a step for others sometime where you find it difficult to then you will find that the spiritual level elevation happens strongly the karmic responsibility happens easily and much better and the spiritual elevation towards moksha itself except to salvation itself with the sun the soul involved and ketu the spiritual energy involved becomes easier so very karmic energy use it judiciously otherwise it can come back to harm you a lot so friend this is the combination of sun or the conjunction of the sun with different other eight planetary entities please keep in mind the conjunction or this conjunction works generally between 5 to 6 degrees and 13 to 14 degrees at the max anything less than that can be either a combustion with sun or an eclipse by rahu or ketu anything beyond 14 degrees is truly not strong a conjunction and the synergy of the energies may not work strongly So look into your horoscope see where the sun conjunction is understand this very well and watch my other video also on conjunctions watch my other video on yogas and doshas please visit my playlist also a lot of videos are there in store for you use it to your advantage and if you're looking for a consultation from me personally please reach out to me the link given below please follow me on instagram until some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide signing off ciao